is the uh, Rural Transport Programme in County Maid. We're part of a network of 38 groups around the country and we deliver rural transport in many areas of the county for people who have no access to public transport. Uh, we go into many towns and villages both north and south of the county uh, making sure that people who live in remote areas are able to get to do their shopping, are able to get to the doctor, are able to get to appointments, are able to get to their social activities which are very important. I think one of the unknown parts of rural transport is the amount of chat and the amount of talk and the amount of fun that people have on the bus as they go to and from the various activities that they need to go to. And I think this is part of the uh, rural transport programme that we need to highlight very much. Today is the 11th of September, it is the National Rural Transport um, Day for the whole of the, of the country. And uh, so it's a great day for us to, to celebrate with our passengers and to celebrate with our staff here um, the success that Flexibus has been in the county since 2001. The turnout in Flexibus uh, passengers today, does this show the amount of support that Flexibus has in need? Well it's the support that it has but also the need that's there for the people that actually need the service, uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, there's a lot of rural places where you have a lot of elderly people living and they have no transport whatsoever with uh, most area or private operators. And then other parts of the county were awash with transport. But it's the areas that, that badly need it. People need to get into Navan, we need to get into Kells, we need to draw them, uh, to do a bit of shopping, to go to the doctor. Uh, they, they need flexibles and that's why they support it. And it's, it's a fantastic service. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't ever play the gun. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. When I hear the whistle blowing, well, I hang my head and cry. Hi, my name is Vincent Connell. I work for Flexibus. Um, I currently work on a bus and I take uh, the students to college and to school uh, with your users. I also uh, take clients up to hospital appointments in Matters and Vincent's, all the hospitals in Dublin. Transport or can't afford to pay high fees to taxes, and it's an enjoyable job. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I know I had it coming, I know I can't be free. But those people keep a moving, and that's what. I'd move it on a little further down the line If I'm from Folsom Prison That's where I want to stay And I'd let the lonesome whistle Blow my blues away Very, very important I think Miriam and our team have done a great job with this county since it started many years ago. I was around as a councillor on the TD just as she was starting the service and from day one uh, she's done a great job. There's an awful lot of people out there in my own parish in Boromine, around Carter and Byers and Dunderry. I was even bothered in the Clamellan one, we've got some Condress and Mullen. There's a lot of areas here. People wouldn't have access to their towns, they wouldn't be able to get go and do their bits and pieces and get their pension and their shopping without the likes of Flexibus. It's a great service. It, it brings people together as well. A lot of these people here, you and I both know why you can get out to see anybody at all unless they're picked up and brought into Navin. And it's not, they can't afford to get taxis. I have people around me every day of the week who can't get a Flexibus from various other, other um, fringe areas around the county. And, you know, they can't afford to pay taxis. It's too much money. Flexibus is a very, you know, it's a, it's a small, small little charge just to cover the, you know, the head towards cost. Great service. Matilda Lynch. Matilda Lynch. Or and you use the Flexibus? I do. And how do you find it? I find it brilliant. It collects me at the gate and it leaves me back home. And I couldn't really do without it. I would never be into Navarre without it because my husband now, since parking and everything was changed, 
he won't drive. Going on eighty now, you know, so he just drive, just drive to Kells and back out. I, I've never been to that. How often do you use it? Well, I come every week. Every week. Oh, every week. Yeah, every Friday. Every Friday, come here. Get your shopping done. I get the shopping done. <laughs> and and um, do you find it also helps with uh, meeting um, talking? Because like, you have uh, a great bunch of people here on the, on the bus with you. Well, have good chance. To me, this is what we look forward to. Even if I haven't shopping to do, I would still come for the crack. Yeah. And the talk, the chat, and the fun is absolutely brilliant. Catch up on all the Ab gossip. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> do a great fun. Absolutely uh, great fun. Excellent. It really is good. Hello again, ladies. Oh, hi. Enjoying the summer day. Yeah, just yeah, the just the all the dancing and all. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> How do you find Flexibus? Absolutely brilliant. Couldn't yeah. do without it. Couldn't do without it? No. Could not. not. We'd be sitting at home we're in the car, living no. rural area and we're stuck at times. Do you use it much? Every, twice a week, three times a week. Three times a week? Yeah, yeah. And is it just for getting to, say, the, the towns or is it just... Getting to towns, yeah, and getting to bingo. Bingo as well. Yes. And do you do any day trips then as well? Like if, if you want to, yes. could you? Yes. You could. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The car could cross or Gavin Town or whatever. Whatever we brought. Have, have you used any favourites? Have you a favourite driver? Well, Morris, we, we, keep we, it love, we love Morris. We you love, love Morris. Morris. And we, love, we love Pat. Uh, we love Pat, 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 Pat Cromwell, he comes with us and we love him as well. And, and they're good track as well. But they're all but, very good. But Morris, Morris will be fine with it. He'll be aging just a little bit ahead. Well, of course Morris. <laughs> Morris is with us for months now. Yeah. We're very fond of Morris. That's one up with Morris. And, all right. <laughs> <laughs> is this the man himself? Is this the man? This is the man himself, Morris, from Kenstown. <laughs> What's your name? Tony. Tony, I didn't get a shot of yourself now. Well, here I am, yeah. You're there. Away. <coughs> what routes do you do? All, all, all routes. All Ivor, Kentucky, Athboy. Oh, very good. Oh, crack, you name it. So you, you're uh, constant. yeah, constantly going, yeah. That's what we need, so it's really Yeah. Really is. Oh, very good. Tell me about the benefits of Flexibus. The, the, the benefits of Flexibus are very varied. I suppose the first thing really is um, what the Department of Transport demands of us and that is our numbers. So every month we number crunch and we figure out how many people have gone on our services. In 2008 we carried just under 85,000 passenger journeys which was about 20,000 up from the year before. And I would say that our services have probably gone between 10 and 20,000 over the last couple of years. Um, and, and the benefits are seen for older people who make up 50% of the passengers that we carry but then the other 50% is made up of people with disabilities and young people uh, and people who are still going to school and I suppose that really leads us into the benefits that there are not just for older people in the county but for the organisations and the community groups that use our services. Yes we do have shopper services and we do bring individuals into the hospital and into the clinics but we also have uh, community groups that use our buses. They would ring and book a bus say that they wanted to bring a group of people say to the theatre in Avon or they wanted to go bowling or they wanted to go ice skating and they want to put a community group together. Equally we have uh, what we call a self drive where people will come in and take our bus and bring up say a group of, of scouts or a group of girl guides that want to go away for the weekend. So the people that benefit from our, our services are not just the people um, who, who are older and who live in isolated areas, it's also about rural communities as well as rural people. Yeah. My name is Anne and um, I work with Flexibus, I'm here now four years. Um, my bus carries young adults with special needs. Um, we take them from the units they're in to a place called Respite where they can stay overnight and it gives the families a rest for a couple of days. I've got a tiger by the tail, plain to see. One second, people. I won't be much when you get through with me. I'm going to lose your weight, I'm turning mighty pale. And it looks like I've got a tiger by the tail. Well, I was born the day I met you were meek as a lamb. Just a kind of fit my dream plan. Take the wind for my sail, and it looks like 